so in today's video we are going to continue our lesson on mensuration we are going to focus on triangles how to find the area and perimeter of some basic triangles like the isosceles or equilateral triangles and all of that so what is a triangle a triangle is a three-sided plane figure so assuming that this is a b and c then the side AB is called the base of the triangle. So AB is the base of the triangle. And then CD is called the height of the triangle. CD is the height of the triangle. And then CD bisects AB at right angles. So we have this to be 90 degrees and then also this to be 90 degrees now let's talk about the area and perimeter of a triangle the area of a triangle is given by half times the base times the height so in this case we have half times the base is a b so we have a b times the height so this is how to find the area of a triangle the formula to find the area of a triangle now to the perimeter the perimeter is basically the sum of the length of all the three sides so the sum of the length of all the three sides so that is a b plus b c plus a c So the sum of the length of all the three sides of this triangle is the perimeter. So basically, these are the formulas in finding the area and perimeter of a triangle. Now let's take an example on that. So given that AB is 8 cm and H is 3 cm, find the area and perimeter of this triangle. So for this example, we have the base that is AB to be 8 centimeters, and then we have the height CD to be 3 centimeters. We are going to find the area and the perimeter of this triangle. Let's solve this problem together. Now the area of a triangle is given by half times the base times the height now we have the base to be 8 centimeters and the height to be 3 centimeters so this becomes half of 8 times 3 is 24 and then half of 24 is 12 so we have the area of the triangle to be 12 centimeter square now let's solve for B b is the perimeter of this triangle now the perimeter of this triangle is equal to the sum of the length of all the three sides the sum of the length of all the three sides so that is a b side a b plus side b c plus the side a c so we need to find the length of all these three sides. Now we know that the side AB or the length of AB is 8 cm. But we do not know the length of BC and then AC respectively. So we are going to find those values. Now you realize that from the diagram, CD divides AB equally. So if AB is 8 cm, then what this primarily means is that AD is 4 cm and then db is also 4 centimeters we have h to be 3 centimeters therefore we are going to have two three four five triangles so if the height is 3 centimeters and then ad is 4 centimeters then we are going to have the hypotenuse that is ac to be 5 centimeters but for the sake of our calculation we are going to solve using the pythagoras theorem so let's pick one of the two right angled triangles so for triangle triangle ADC 
we are going to find the length AC. So using Pythagoras theorem, we say that the length AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. So AD square plus DC square. We have AC square equals AD is 4 centimeters. So 4 square plus DC is 3 centimeters, 3 square. 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9. So we have AC square to be equal to 25. So we are going to take the square root of both sides. So AC is equal to the square root of 25. And this gives us 5 centimeters. So we have AC to be 5 centimeters. Now AC is equal to BC. So if AC is 5 centimeters, then it means that BC is also 5 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter is going to be AB was given to be 8 centimeters. So 8 plus 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 8 is 18. So the perimeter of this triangle is 18 centimeters. So now let's move on to an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle which has two of its sides to be equal. So if this is the isosceles triangle, then we have two of its sides to be equal. So this is A, B, C, and then D. So as usual, AB is the base of the triangle, and then we have CD to be the height of the triangle. Now CD bisects AB at right angles, and because this is an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So the angle CAD, this is CAD, is equal to the angle CBD. So for isosceles triangles, the base angles are always equal. Now let's take an example on this. The height of an isosceles triangle is 5 cm. Find the length of the base if the sides are 13 cm long. Find the area and perimeter. So we are told from the question that the height of an isosceles triangle is 5 cm. So let's draw our isosceles triangle. So assuming this is our isosceles triangle, let's say this is A, B, this is C, and then this is D. We have the height H, which is 5 cm. Find the length of the base if the sides are 13 cm long. So we are going to find the length of the base, that is AB. Now because this is an isosceles triangle, then we have two of its sides to be equal. So AC should be equal to BC. So that is 13 centimeters each. And then CD bisects AB at right angles. So we have two right angled triangles. That is triangle BDC and then triangle ADC. So let's find the length of the base. Now because CD divides AB equally, AD is equal to DB. And then AB, which is the base, is 2 times of AD. It's 2 times of AD. So we can choose to pick one of the right angle triangles. In this case, we can pick the triangle ADC and then we try to find the length of AD. And then because we are interested in the base of the triangle, which is AB, we are going to multiply the value by 2 to get the base of the triangle. So that's what we are going to do. So from triangle ADC, 
Now this is a right angle triangle so we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem. We are going to find the length of the side AD. So from Pythagoras theorem we have AC square that is equal to AD square plus DC square. AC is 13 so we have 13 square equals AD square plus 5 square. 13 square is 169 and then 5 square is 25. So we transpose 25 to the left hand side. We have 169 minus 25 and this is equal to 144. So we have 144 equals AD square. Now because we want to find AD, we are going to take the square root of both sides so that AD is equal to the square root of 144 which is equal to 12. So we have the length of the side AD to be 12 centimeters. So AD is 12 centimeters. Now if AD is 12 centimeters, then the base which is AB is 2 times of 12 which is 24. So we have AB to be 24 centimeters. That is the base of the triangle. Now let's find the area. So for the area of the triangle, the area of a triangle is given as half times the base times the height. So this is equal to half times, we have the base to be AB which is 24 centimeters. So 24 times the height is 5, 5 centimeters. 2 goes into itself once into 24, 12 times. So 12 times 5 is 60. So the area of this triangle is 60 centimeter square. Now let's find the perimeter. So the perimeter is the sum of the length of all the three sides. So we have AB to be 24 centimeters and then we have BC to be 13 centimeters and then also AC to be 13 centimeters. 13 plus 13 is 26 plus 24 is 50. So we have the perimeter of this triangle to be 50 centimeters. So let's talk about an equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle is a triangle which has all the three sides to be equal. So if this is our equilateral triangle, then this side is equal to this side is equal to this side. So we have all the three sides to be equal. AB is equal to BC and that is equal to AC and also each of the angles is 60 degrees so this side is 60 degrees this angle is 60 this angle is also 60 and then this angle is also 60 so this is an equilateral triangle let's take an example on this the length of an equilateral triangle is 8 centimeters find I the height of the triangle the area and the perimeter of the triangle. Let's try this example together. So because we have an equilateral triangle, it means that all the three sides are equal. So if this is A, B and C, we have AC a, B and then B, C to be equal. That is 8 centimeters. So 8 centimeters, 8 centimeters and then 8 centimeters. And this is the height. H. Now if A, B is 8 centimeters and then C, D, okay, C, D divides A, B equally, then it means that A, D is what? 4 centimeters and then D, B is also 4 centimeters. 
we also have this angle to be 90 and then 90 each now to find the height of this triangle we are going to consider one of the right angle triangles for this case let's consider the triangle ADC so for triangle ADC we are going to find the height of the triangle so from Pythagoras theorem we have AC square to be equal to AD square plus DC square so we have AC to be 8 centimeters so 8 square equals we have AD to be 4 centimeters 4 square plus DC that is H the height so 8 square is 64 4 square is 16 so we transpose that one here we have negative 16 equals h square 64 minus 16 gives us 48 so we have 48 equals h square we take the square root of both sides and then we have h to be the square root of 48 which is equal to 4 root 3 now 4 root 3 to 2 decimal places gives 6.93 so we have the height to be 6.93 centimeters now let's find the area so the area is given by half times the base times the height now we have the base to be 8 centimeters and this time the height to be what 6.93 but for the sake of our calculation, let's use 4 root 3. So 4 root 3. 2 goes into itself once into 8, 4 times. So 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 16 root 3. And then 16 root 3 to 2 decimal places gives 27.71. So we have 27.71 centimeter square. This is the area of the triangle. Now let's find the perimeter. So the perimeter is equal to AB plus BC plus AC. So AB plus BC plus AC. So we have that to be 8 plus 8 plus 8. So 8 times 3 is 24. So this is 24 centimeters. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.